Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Joe to see. What's up, YouTube? You can probably guess where I am because you read the title, but I'm at the Goodwill Bins once again. I haven't posted a Thrift With Me video in like two weeks, but fear not because I'm posting another one because <laughs> you're watching it. <laughs> anyway, today I don't think I'm looking for anything specific. I do need like more unique pants. So I'm, I don't know. I feel like my pants are really basic. That's just how I've been feeling lately. My style hasn't really changed, so I mostly like Y2K stuff when I go thrifting. So let's just see what we find. Uh, this is gonna be a mystery thrift with me, I guess, because I literally don't have nothing that I have in mind. So let's just get started. Oh, by the way, my name is Egypt. I don't know if I said that. I always forget to say my name in the beginning of the videos, and I forget that sometimes people are new and don't know who I am. So yeah, my name's Egypt and <laughs> I'm gonna go thrift. And it's also a rainy day, so there won't be that much people there, which I love. So yeah, let's get started. So, if you've already seen my Thrift With Me videos, it's pretty much, honestly, basically what you see in all the other videos, but a different day. And I'm gonna talk about different stuff. So when I first got there, I went to the bag section. I didn't really find any bags. Oh, here's the prices because I don't think I've ever included the prices in my videos, but it goes separately by like electronics, clothes, and other items. In New York, the prices per pound was actually higher. So I think the prices definitely do vary depending on the location. Here, I am just looking through this bin and there was a bunch of coats in it. I like this one, but I don't know. It just gives old lady. And a lot of the coats just weren't really aligning with the style that I'm going for or that I'm trying to go for. There was this fur one, it was super heavy. But I'm like, I don't know. It's gonna be summer. Wait, what comes after winter? Spring? It's gonna be spring soon. So I don't think I need to be getting jackets anymore. And then I have like this cute little moment with these ladies. They were complimenting my body. But then the lady was like, I hate you, I hate you. And it kind of hurt my feelings because I'm like, why do you hate me? You don't even know me. I mean, I know she was joking, but like, dang, why you hate me? because <laughs> I'm skinny like that kind of hurt my feelings a little bit and then she found me a jacket so it kind of made up for it <laughs> oh she was super nice about it So after that, I just continued looking through the jackets. This pink jacket had like some cool little detailing on the arm, that's why I showed it, but I didn't really like it. I think my style is changing again. Like I've been very inspired by, I don't even know what style to call it, but like the super feminine style with like lace tops and skirts and stockings or leggings, whatever you call them and like stuff like that. But when I look up those kind of styles, like the really feminine style, I never see black people. I never see black women. So now I think I want that style or I want to just start representing that style because it it's underrepresented by black people, especially on the internet. Like, it's kind of annoying, you know? Like, why am I not seeing any black women in lace frilly dresses and bows in their hair and stuff like that? Like, kind of like, hmm. I want to say Parisian style, but I don't think that's right. Let me search it up. Let me search it up so I can give you guys the exact style that I'm trying to say or aesthetic that I'm talking about. Oh, I can also give you someone that kind of represents that style a little bit um, that you guys might know, but Kiana Naomi on YouTube, I've literally been watching her since I was a child, like middle school. I just love her style. I like how minimal it is, but it's also very 
feminine. And I feel like with my style currently, I'm very much streetwear, very much sneakers, very much baggy pants and a crop top. Like that's kind of how I dress right now. And I feel like the more feminine style is also a lot more mature. And I like that too, because I'm getting older. I don't know. I think I'm growing out of like the streetwear style, honestly. It was cool, fun and fresh for a little while. Well, a long while, because I feel like that's kind of always been my style, but I don't know. I'm kind of growing out of it and the trench coat that the woman found just kind of like inspired me like wow this looks super good on me hey will you try this on so my Renelle look what I found for her <laughs> try it on it looks so good on her it fits her like a tee <laughs> yeah it does actually isn't that nice turn around isn't that cool <laughs> That is so cool. I just love it. Yeah, I love it. I love the ties too. That is so, that is, that is nice. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Can you imagine it with knee high boots? Like I would just be that girl, honestly, in that trench coat. And that's how I wanna dress. I just wanna dress like an it girl, just like I'm in gossip girl slash mean girls like that, you know? Pink, white, lighter colors. Cause I'm all about black, all about black. That's all I really wear. So now I really wanna get into more lighter colors, more dainty pieces. That's really what I'm trying to explain guys. But here, they were switching out the bins. That's why it looks super empty. So I just continued looking through the other ones. I didn't really find much in this trip, honestly. I did find some jeans and stuff. Some stuff that I can sew, but not really anything else. And... I found this Hello Kitty stuffed animal. I need to stop buying stuffed animals because it's kind of becoming a problem. So, update. I'm in the spank. bathroom smells so bad. There's underwear on the floor, but I need to charge my phone, which is what I'm doing. <gasps> I just dropped it. Um, but yeah, I'm charging my phone because I like to leave my house with my phone on 10% slash there. Don't know why I do that, but I always have to bring a charger when I come here because I just always need to charge my phone when I'm here. And the only outlet is in the bathroom. They don't have any outlets around the store at all. But right now they're switching out the bin. So I just decided that I'll just, instead of waiting out there, I'll just wait in here and charge my phone until all the bins are switched out and I can shop again. And then after I shop again, I'm probably gonna leave unless they switch out the bins on the other side and I'm gonna go look in those bins and then leave. I just love having first picks of the bins because it just makes it feel like I'm having like an equal opportunity to find what I want. Because when I came, everything was already picked over. So it was like the stuff I was finding was good, but it wasn't like the first dibs good, you know? I came at the perfect time, honestly, like had a little bit of time to shop with the bins that were have already been here and now I'm gonna be able to shop with the new bins. So love that for me. It just smells terrible in here. And it makes me so uncomfortable to be in here. It's just nasty. Also, I love recording here because you guys literally are watching what's happening if I leave a camera recording. I have like an hour on my SD card, so like I just leave it recording. I don't stop and start it, and you guys can actually see things that happen in my life because it's keep on recording. And I also brought my tripod so that I can stand my camera up in my cart and get like the best view possible because lately, like the, my last videos, I've just been setting my camera up in my cart and like the view hasn't been that great, but when I bring my tripod, I can like angle it, put it at a certain height, you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna continue doing that. And they don't tell me to stop recording here. I don't know if it's because they don't really see me because I keep it low key, but Sometimes when I watch people's thrifting videos, they be like, oh, the people told us we can't record. I'm like, I I hope they never do that to me. I'm like, I'm a regular, you know? It's not that big of a place. It's not that many people. So I feel like maybe that's why it's different because some Goodwill bins are bigger than this one and this one's pretty big. So, I don't know, just a little update. <laughs> Bing bong. <laughs> this looks so funny. Okay, then I returned to shopping after they refilled the bins and this leather coat kind of matches that style that I was talking about, but I didn't get it because I already have a leather jacket and that one was cool because it had ties, but like I already have a leather jacket.
then this woman was all up in my grill so i had to move and look for more stuff like i said there was really not that much stuff here today a lot of times it's a hit or miss i feel like the past times that i've been thrifting here has been like a miss but I did find some good jeans so I'm happy about that and some Levi's so anytime I find a jeans I feel like my trip was worth it because it's very hard for me to find jeans my size that fit me in my waist and everything right I saw these really cool pants with zippers on the side. I wish they were my size and like in a style that I liked because I thought that detail was super cool. But unfortunately, it wasn't my size and I didn't really like the style. And one thing that is always at the Goodwill bins is shoes. I never really look for shoes because one time I got these boots from the Goodwill bins and it's like as soon as I took them home, they just started falling apart. I think they were already falling apart, but I didn't notice until I actually took them home. So I never get shoes and I don't know, it's just kind of unsanitary to me. If you get shoes at the thrift store, that is fine. I'm not bashing you. I'm just stating my personal opinion about shoes at the thrift store from my personal experience okay okay but this was a really short and sweet video i just mostly talked about the style that i'm trying to achieve not necessarily about what i was actually doing at the thrift store <laughs> but i really hope you guys didn't mind that i feel like these videos are a chance for me to just talk about whatever i want that's fashion related or talk about thrifting experiences it's never necessarily really just me talking through my entire trip because that would get extremely boring and repetitive so I really hope you guys don't mind me just blabbing on while you watch this video but thank you guys so much for watching I always appreciate you guys my channel is really going up right now and it's amazing and you guys are amazing and I love you for being here and listening to me talk so bye <laughs> have a great day Quick thing, I'm gonna sew something with that, probably halter top. I found so many pants. This is why you gotta speak it into existence. I found two pants. These, I'm thinking about selling on my Depop because they're not my size, but this contrast stitching is popular, so I think it'll sell. Then I got three pants. I think I got another one. Two, these. I found four pants on this probably i don't think i'm gonna get it i don't need that and it's heavy so it's gonna just cost more what else is in here yeah pretty much stuff to sew this i don't need that this little hat scarf thing i thought it was cool but i'm probably never gonna wear it or i might i don't know i think i should still get it it's not gonna weigh that much and i got this big oversized sweatshirt that I'm gonna wear with skirts it's green so it's cool color and then this flannel I'm not gonna get the bag because it's not in good condition and that little trench coat that the lady found for me which is so sweet even though she said she hated me <laughs> that hurt my feelings a little bit but I know she was joking got my reusable tote bag Just because I got a lot of jeans, and jeans are heavy. First time back and I spent $20.
No, it, I think it's just mostly because I got jeans because there's sometimes I'll go, I'll get more stuff than this and I'll spend like 15, 10 dollars. But because the stuff that I have weigh a lot more, it just ended up being a lot more. I should have set a budget because <laughs> if I would have set a budget, then I probably would not have spent 20 dollars. Like 20 dollars is not that much for what I got, but for my bank account, <laughs> I did not need to be spending 20 dollars on clothes. So I need to make some money now. More the story is I need to make some money so I'm gonna go sell these items try to sell them and yeah get my money back <laughs>